<laughs> what is good what is good what is good beautiful people of course you know who i is the good doc dr mike back again once again with a quick video I'm trying to make this real quick because i need to go to sleep i am tired uh but i'm convinced ladies and gentlemen i'm not even good For, forgive me for not doing the formal formalities like subscribe you know what's good um but i'm convinced ladies and gentlemen um after today i am convinced that valentine's day is a holiday that is invented for simps by simps it's gotta be there's just no way in this world the stuff that i have seen and have heard of today to convince me otherwise that the holiday forever known as valentine's day is a holiday invented by simps for simps now i know all of my red pill individuals and all of my sysbm people are gonna be like yes doc you finally talking some real shit, but I'm going to be honest. Y'all know I'm in a relationship, so I can't say that I uh, subscribe fully to the ideology that you guys share in, but I can honestly say that I do not subscribe to the holiday known as Valentine's Day. So let me give you the rundown real quick. So I'm sitting here having conversations with some of my friends. And I'm like, you know, you know, something just came up. I was like, yo, what are you guys going to do for your girl for Valentine's Day? Because I tell them, you know, I don't really do much for my girl on Valentine's Day. As a matter of fact, we celebrate Valentine's Day on the day after because we're not going out or anything like that. As a matter of fact, all we do mostly on Valentine's Day is just grab something to eat. That's it. Go to a nice place, chill. And I'm good with that. I'm good with that. This year, my young lady wanted to do couples yoga. There was a free class that was being offered at the gym that she goes to. She wanted to go. We decided not to go. But that's it. I mean, a free activity. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, But I was talking to my guy friends, and they was like, uh, Doc, uh, you know, I was, I'm sorry. I asked them. I was like, what are you guys doing for your girl for Valentine's Day? They were like, well... I got it all planned out, bruh. I got the chocolates already. I got the flowers. I got the balloons. I got the card. You know, I'm going to run her a bath. I'm going to do this for her. I'm going to rub her feet and all this shit, right? And then I said, okay. What does your girl normally do for you on Valentine's Day? This is the kicker right here. Because I know you can't tell me what your girl is going to do for you this year. But what in the past, since you've been in a relationship with this young lady for however many years you've been in a, in a relationship with her, what have you gotten from that particular day that really makes you happy about being able to do all this shit for your girl? That motherfucker said, like, a card and some candy. That's it. And some sex. Now, let me stop the show there for a minute, because this is where things get interesting. <laughs> you told me that you're getting sex on Valentine's Day. I mean, is this like something that you mark in your calendar as a day that you know you're going to get laid or something? Because I'm confused. I mean, how is it, and I'm just asking this question to all of my guys out there, how is it that sex is highlighted on Valentine's Day? No cap, though. I'm going to tell you something. The doc was born on November 17th, so I had to have been conceived in and around Valentine's Day. That's just a quick note. That's my birthday, November 17th. Uh, so I had to have been consumed around that day. But on, a, but, on a, but on another note, how is it that guys are excited about sex on Valentine's Day? Is that something that you guys don't get on the regular from your relationship? I'm confused by it. That's why I'm asking the question. But anyways, let me, let me get through what I'm trying to say. This has to be a holiday that is invented by simps for simps because guys go above and beyond for their young ladies. And I understand wanting to do nice things for your girl. Hell, I like doing nice things for my girl too. But nice things don't have to mean expensive or nice things doesn't have to mean saving up everything that you can for a specific fucking holiday to do things for. Me and my girl celebrate every day. <laughs> All right, that's the truth. When we're together, we're happy. That's how we celebrate our day. We, we, when we get to do things, when we get to go to the movies, we hang out, we chill, do things like that. That is how we celebrate the holiday. I'm sorry, guys. I'm switching hands back and forth because this shit get hurt. It hurt when you got to hold your own camera. But side note, um, I'm sorry. Besides that, I often ask myself, what is it, like I said, about this holiday that has guys going above and beyond? Then I've come to the realization that this is a holiday invented by simps. For simps, guys are going out of their way to go above and beyond for their young lady and they're spending money on flowers that are going to die. I can honestly tell you that I've bought my girl flowers twice since we've been in a relationship. One was the day she graduated because me and her, we graduated together. You guys know that. Um, we went to school together just in case you didn't know that. 
The second time was uh, one of her birthdays. I can't remember. I don't know. I think I wanted to show out that day because I was meeting her at her job. And, you know, I just want to make these hoes jealous. That was the only reason I bought the flowers. Just want to make some hoes jealous. Anyways, so I have my reasons for when I buy flowers. But I tell my girl all the time, I don't like buying flowers for you. I think it's stupid. I think it's dumb. Why do I want to put something on a table that's going to sit there and eventually die? It looks good when you first get it. But what's going to happen after a week? The shit going to start to shrivel up and your shit going to fall apart. And she, I said, I'd rather get you something that you're going to like. You like to eat, boo. I know this. <laughs> I'd rather feed you. I'd rather do things for you that I know you're going to enjoy, not just buy you flowers that are going to sit there and eventually die. And, and of course, you guys know that flowers is like that symbol of Valentine's Day, you know, and chocolate hearts and shit. Do you not believe that the good dog is enough chocolate for any woman? Trust me. She gets enough of that shit. So chocolates, even that's irrelevant. You understand? I don't even have to buy her chocolates and shit. Ha ha. You're supposed to laugh. Anyways, um, I'm just here just trying to carry on the dialogue, man. I'm trying to, I'm really weirded out at the idea or trying to figure out why is it that these guys go above and beyond for their female on this particular day. But yet still, the highlight of Valentine's Day for you is basically you getting laid. Tell me something, guys. I'm sorry, because that shit sounds horrible. If you waiting for one day, I don't care how long you've been in a relationship for. But it just seems like you're basically justifying all of the things that you do for her for the simple fact that you're getting laid on this day. And I'm confused by it. And I don't like it at all. I mean, I'm telling you right now, I think everybody at the sound of my voice should unsubscribe to the holiday known as Valentine's Day. Let me say it one more time. You said one more time. Everybody, every man at the sound of my voice should unsubscribe to the holiday known as Valentine's Day because it is a holiday invented by simps for simps. And that's my rant, ladies and gentlemen. I don't think that I can press the narrative anymore. Anything you guys have to add, leave it in a comment section down below. This has been the good dog, Dr. Mike TV. And with that being said, I am officially out at least knuckle by alum, which means I am going to uh, bye bye. As always, love you guys. Mark it there, my boy. Peace.